It was the subject of another one of my videos to point out that we don't have to memorize the formula for the volume of a cylinder. As a review, remember that the area of a circle formula is pi r squared. That will give us the area of a circle. But the circle is the bottom of a cylinder. If we find the area of the bottom of a cylinder and multiply it by the height of the cylinder, we are going to get the volume of that cylinder. This is why we don't have to memorize this formula. It is simply the area of a circle formula, pi r squared, times the height of the cylinder. The good news is, the volume of a cone formula is another one that we don't have to memorize. If we look at this formula, we can see that it looks a little bit familiar. Volume equals pi r squared h over 3. It is exactly the same as the volume of a cylinder formula, except the entire value is being divided by 3. That means that the volume of a cone must be equal to one-third the volume of a cylinder. Well, that will only be true if the cone has exactly the same radius and exactly the same height as the cylinder. It was Archimedes who first showed that the volume of a cone is exactly one-third the volume of a cylinder with the same radius and height. Let's do a little demonstration so that we can feel some confidence that Archimedes was right about the relationship between the volumes of a cone and a cylinder. Here I have a cylinder. This is a plastic jar that once held some kind of candy. And it's not a perfect cylinder because the bottom here is a little bit rounded and there are threads where a lid can be screwed on or off. But it is close enough to a perfect cylinder for us to use in our demo. I have used paper to make a cone that has roughly the same height and roughly the same radius as this cylinder. I can place the cone inside the cylinder and it's not perfect once again so this experiment will be a bit of an approximation. If Archimedes was right, and of course he was, I should be able to fill this cone with rice three times and empty them into the cylinder and the total of the three cones full of rice should be roughly equal to a full cylinder. Let's try it. There's one. Two. Three cones full of rice do a pretty good job of filling the cylinder. So I feel from now on that I have a lot of confidence in Archimedes when he said that a cone, if it has the same radius and the same height as a cylinder, will have exactly one-third the volume of that cylinder. So thanks to Archimedes, if we can remember a couple of simple facts about cones and cylinders, this is the only one of these three formulas that we have to have memorized. If we know the area of a circle formula, then we can multiply it by the height in order to get the volume of a cylinder that has that circle as its bottom. And if we know the volume of a cylinder formula, we can divide it by three to get the volume of a cone that has the same radius and height as the cylinder. Being able to produce these formulas when we need them, like during an exam, without having to memorize them, can be very useful.